Hello, in this video I will show you how to list an item with variations from AliExpress using DS Titan Lister. This tool is mostly used by dropshippers who are working with manual dropshipping strategy. DS Titan Lister does not use API, which means eBay will not flag you for dropshipping policy breach. To list an item using DS Titan, you will have to set up a DS Titan account at dstitan.com. Go to dstitan.com, register using your Google account and log in. After you logged in, install Google Chrome extension. This extension is required for this software to work. Once you've done that, DS Titan will use its default settings for pricing, UPC codes, templates and preferences. I will go through DS Titan setup in other video. To begin our listing process, we will need to open up AliExpress listing that we want to upload. Once we are in AliExpress listing, look at the bottom right corner and press import. By clicking this button, you will upload the item to the DS Titan lister. Uploaded item will appear in products page. Let's go to DS Titan and check out the product. Reload the list. There is your uploaded item from AliExpress. Click here to open up your listing up in DS Titan. As you can see, DS Titan has almost every attribute that eBay listing page has. Also, just like in eBay's listing page, you can modify your listing here before uploading it to eBay. However, I don't like to do that because, in my opinion, it's easier to set up DS Titan so that you need to do as few changes on eBay listing as possible. Those few changes will be made on eBay's listing page to save time. Ok, now let's go to eBay. Click on sell and wait until the page and extension loads up. Just a quick side note, this extension works as long as the page is active. So for example, if you press on export and then you open up a new tab on Google Chrome, the extension will stop uploading the item. It's very important to be on listings page when DS Titan is exporting a product. Choose the product that you want to export to eBay and click on export button. Please do not leave this page while DS Titan extension is filling in the information, otherwise the extension will stop working. Once DS Titan has finished uploading, let's take a look what information has been filled in. As we can see, Titan has copied title, made custom label, uh, chosen condition, uploaded photos, uploaded specifications that were on AliExpress listing, and uploaded our description. Price and variations have been filled in automatically too. Now let's optimize listing for eBay's algorithm. The title has been just copied and pasted from AliExpress. We want to change it to a better one so we could be ahead of competition. To create a title you can use tools like Title Builder, Google or even eBay. Of course there is more advanced tools like Zik Analytics, however we will not use those tools in this video. When creating a title, best keywords should be in front and worst ones in the back. Use as many characters as you can to maximize the reach potential. Make sure every word is starting with a capital letter. Create a title which describes item as much as possible. Choose good keywords. We will go in depth about this topic in other video. Subtitle is a paid option that would increase item exposure and reach. However, it's best to use this option on hot products once the sales are rolling in. Custom label is used by tracking software. We will not track our listings, so we can delete that. Make sure the category is set correct for your listing. Most of the time eBay chooses the correct one automatically, however you should double check it. If it's completely wrong, check suggested categories. If you still cannot find correct category, click on search categories and find one that suits listing the best. Now let's take a look at variations. As you can see, DS Titan has automatically created variations for us. Photos has been added automatically too. If you want to make changes, click on edit. Here you can edit attributes that been already selected. I do not recommend to change variation names. This would compromise our pricing. If we change attributes, we will have to fill the price by hand. That's one of the disadvantages while using DS Titan. However, you have to change attributes very rarely. If we scroll down, we can see variation combinations. Here you can delete variations. Here you can edit price and quantity. If we scroll up a bit, we can add variations photos. Variations photos has been already added by DS Titan. Here you can choose to use default photos. However, if you choose that, those photos that were uploaded by DS Titan will be deleted. Once you're done with variations, go down. 
Click Save and Close. Choose correct condition for your item. In my case, the item is new. As we can see, photos have been already uploaded by DS Titan. Now what you should do is delete unnecessary photos and choose the best one for your main photo. I will not change the main photo because this one is looking the best. You want to have the best photo as many because this way you will attract more buyers. You will have better click-through rate. Let's go on to item specifics. As you can see, we have required, recommended and additional item specifics. Required item specifics must be filled in, otherwise eBay won't let us list this item. Recommended item specifics will have a huge impact on item reach performance. Additional item specifics has impact too, however it's not as huge as previous ones. Fill in as many item specifications as you can. Of course, when dropshipping you will not know every detail about the item. So it's fine to leave some blank spaces. If you don't know the exact specific, choose the closest one. Once we are done, we can go on item description. Here we can see HTML code and standard view. Any changes you make on standard view will have an impact on HTML code and vice versa. I would recommend to create a template, save it to DS Titan, make it a default one. And when you are listing items, you will have to change just one or two things. As you can see, my little template is already made. I just need to paste the title here, item description here and package content here. I will leave this little template in description below so you can download it and use it. Now copy item description from AliExpress, paste it to notepad, copy it again and paste it to item description. This step is critical. We have to clear the metadata of the text so eBay will not detect that this text is from AliExpress. Many dropshippers are having problems because they missed this step. Paste the item title here and fill in what's included in the package here. The description is set. Let's go to selling details. We'll use fixed price format. Item will start once we upload it. You can click here on edit and edit price or quantity of the items. We don't have to make the listing private because it's not an adult product. If you want to donate a percentage from your sales, check this box. Fill in your PayPal address here. Check if it's right. It will automatically upload in future listings. Do not require an immediate payment. By checking this, you lose about 5% of the sales because some people like to buy several items at once. Sales tax is for US sellers. We will go into that in another video. Always accept returns and offer replacements. You should offer highest return dates. eBay customers will be able to return item anyways, even if you don't check this box. So there is no point. If you check these boxes, you will get some points from eBay algorithm. Choose your shipping options. We are shipping from China, so that's the services that we are going to use. Always offer free shipping and count in the shipping cost in total price. You will get more points from the algorithm. Choose the handling time. 3 days is optimal handling time for dropshippers. We don't care about package weight and dimensions, because the shipping is free. Make an exclusion list. Bind the countries that you cannot ship to. As you can see, that's my list. I recommend to bind these countries if you are shipping from China. I will go into this topic in another video and I will give you full pre-made exclusion list. Choose item location. If you are dropshipping from China, do not have several item locations on one eBay account. Choose one and stick to it. Selling with several item locations can get you banned on eBay or your account can be flagged for dropshipping. Activate sell it faster option. This will increase sales by up to 10%. And that's it, we can click on list item. I hope you enjoyed this simple video on how to list item with variations from AliExpress using DS Titan. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content about eBay dropshipping and e-commerce, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. Bye.